I'm Adam. And I'm Patrick. We are Guy in a Cube, and today we are joined by none other than Mr. Chris Finland. We are going to be talking about paginated reports, Power BI, reporting services, all that good stuff. Stay tuned. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from Patrick and myself. And with that, Chris, how you doing? Good. We've been we've been trying to do this for a little while. We have been. It's yeah. tough to get three, You've been avoiding us. Yeah, well, it's tough to get three bald guys together. <laughs> uh, in a yeah, so location. we were talking before about like you know the whole three blind mice. So now yeah. we've got three bald guys. Three yeah. bald guys. No, I, three, I think I prefer the mice. Three bald mice. <laughs> three bald mice. <laughs> Hey, I'm still trying to get over Pac-Man machine being over uh, here. We do so. have a Pac-Man so machine over here. All right, Chris, you've been busy working on paginated reports yes. in Power BI. Yep. So real quick, just explain to our audience, like, what do you what do? You do? What do you do? <laughs> well, the engineers <laughs> ask that question all the time. So I'm program manager on the Power BI team, uh, responsible for reporting services, Power BI report server, and to Adam's point, you know, bringing paginated reports that RDL technology that the reports are made in Power BI, uh, in SSRS, up to the Power BI service. Oh, Love it. Sounds yeah, like a that's good job. magical. Although, you look like you were making some sort of gesture there, so I'm no, not sure if you were mocking. I was to Power BI. I, I would never mock you. <laughs> you do it all the time. No, it's, it's part I of know. Your, it's actually kind of your thing. No. <laughs> look, I have to say, I have to say, I am a fan of paginated reports. Yes. I am. You are? I am. Yeah, I am, I am. I think they're I, hot I am and too. sexy. <laughs> I think they're hot and sexy. They're right? sweet mistress. <laughs> they're sweet mistress. It's my <laughs> sweet mistress. Yeah, Sorry. your love of Kerberos is really disturbing. I love Kerberos. I get hot and I Kerberos. actually saw that there was a session on Kerberos and SSRS at this conference. I didn't see that actually. Yes. I haven't looked at There's sessions. There's a full session wow. on Kerberos and really? SSRS. Really? Yes, I need to go and dedicated to, go. Did you, to that. Did you happen to catch when that is? It's actually happening like right now. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. All right. So, Paginated Reports, yeah. yep. we announced public preview. Public preview today. Patrick did a great job at the keynote, you know, talking about it, getting people at excited. At Pass Summit. And the last thing, because I have been on this huge journey with reporting services, I want to say this. This feature is hot as wasabi mustard sauce. So, so, so Patrick, Patrick unveiled. Yeah, no, it was great. I mean, it was. We've been working really, really hard at it, and I wanted to. I, you know, I knew Patrick would do a great job, Thank kind of you. getting people excited. And, and there was a lot of energy. It was there was a lot of energy. The stuff on Twitter energy. was great, and you know, it's something that I'm really, really proud of the work the team did. You know, I, the engineers are the ones who really make this magic happen in terms of, you know, think about them doing this and the millions of SSRS customers who, you know, file bugs and oh, incident across yeah. pre previous products, you know, and you think about we turning out a new build of Report Builder and SSDT and two releases of Power BI Report Server, all while this so, team is also doing this. So you get sleep, but they are not allowed sleep. I really wouldn't phrase it that <laughs> way, it, especially if this is going on my review. No, those, are, those are great guys. Those yeah, are great no, guys. no, and, and yeah. it's been a lot of. But I, you know, I'm excited. You know, what we presented today is just the first step in a journey to, you know, bring a full breadth of capabilities to the service and and give people a first class experience around both report types. You know, the interactive Power BI reports that have been there for some time and the. You know, operational pixel perfect paginated reports that you want to print off or, or you know, create a PDF and use those in your line. So I kind of have what now I have this one stop shop. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. and you know, one of the things as part of that vision and one of the reasons why this was so important is hey, let's say you're a developer. I mean, a big use case of reporting services is embedding it into yep. applications. Yep. And you think about hey, I have applications now that are using both report types, but can I use a single set of APIs to go do that? And, and while you can't do it today, the first day of the preview that is on the roadmap of nice. something we're going to do here in the next several months. Can you can you tell us about like the top three things that are on the roadmap? Sure, yeah. I, I, I can. Okay. I'm not going to. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we, that, we've got to turn the camera off to do that. <laughs> no, no. I, in all seriousness, I think the things that you think about in terms of, first of all. While it's available in Power BI today, it's not available to be deployed as part of an app. Sure. But you can get to it in the workspace, you can share it out. Mm -hmm. So I think getting it into the apps is, a, is something you'll see here yep. in the short that term. That makes sense, yeah. Uh, email subscriptions uh -oh. is something that's a big yes. part of the paginated report story or the SSRS story. And seeing those 
capabilities brought to the Power BI service, and I actually did a blog post talking about kind of that area all up. The first thing you'll see around that is, hey, I can set a schedule so for these. So the scheduling, is going to be a new type of scheduling? Are we looking at the agent? I think the idea is, well, in terms of the underlying technology, yeah. Yeah, it would be, <laughs> I assure you that most of the people don't care as long as they get it in their inbox okay. on time. All right. That's but, at fair. The, but at the end of the day, we want it to work for both report types. Sure. So as much as it makes sense, I want this capability like, hey, I'm scheduling a Power BI report the same way I do a pagination report in yeah. Power BI. Yeah. So that's something you're going to see here over the next few months, and then support for Power BI data sets as a data source for your reports. I think yes. that's something that yes. you talk about these net new capabilities of these exciting things we can do with this integration with the products. I think that's something you'll see here in the very short All term. right, love okay. it, love yeah. it. And then, so like, I noticed in the pagination reports, we have export to PDF. Bam. Yes, you do. You have, actually have seven different formats We have a there. many, many export options. Yeah, that's you have many right. export options. You do not have TIFF. Which, sure enough, I got uh, a question about export to TIFF. Uh, uh, and I was like, really? The one person who does export to TIFF? Right? But I would, I would, hey, <laughs> if you're using TIFF and you want TIFF export, <laughs> let me know down in the comments below. <laughs> Hash, <laughs> hashtag <don't>. TIFF. Hashtag <laughs> TIFF. How about hashtag export to TIFF? <laughs> sure. So. Whichever. Just let us know. I appreciate that. That's okay. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> so, so, well, wait, so, you so the export there is for paginated. Does that mean we're going to be seeing that, because you did a blog post where you talked about kind of the future for the Power BI side yeah, of it Yeah, I mean, well. it's a different technology that's sure. used for those exports. So we have it out of the box with the preview, like I said, the seven different formats. With Power BI reports, because again, you're, you're essentially taking a picture of each of those tabs. First thing you're going to see, uh, in addition to PowerPoint, is PDF. You're going to yeah. have the ability to do the PDF. Uh, the filtered export, uh, I have a lengthy email oh, yeah. in my yeah. inbox about that as we're, we're looking to finalize that over the next few weeks to have that capability. And you'll see these things coming, you know, maybe in the next few months, sure. but that's on the Power BI side. But yeah, the idea is that, you know, you're not going to have full parity between the two in terms of what you can do with the formats, but again, the idea is that people have this need across both report types. I think, in general, now that you have this capability in the Power BI service, we'd encourage folks to say, hey, look, you know, as you're thinking about your requirements, this is now a legitimate way to kind of meet some of these needs yeah. in terms of your ongoing printing and reporting capability. What, what I did notice, you know, when I was setting it up, is that it seems like the reports that are hosted in the Power BI service, it's a little more modern look. Then yeah, it seems like it. So it's interesting you, you bring that up. So uh, several months ago, there was a blog post. It was actually one of the first blog posts I did after the previous GPM left. Um, she talked about us acquiring technology from a company called Forerunner. I remember and, that. And so that, people were like, hey, what are you doing with this client-side rendering technology? Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? You're seeing that today is that was the change in uh, terms of bringing that into the Power BI service is the first place where we're using that as the front end for these reports. And one thing I also noticed during the keynote, I showed the print. Yes, you did. That was the went, first time I saw the yeah, print. I was like, bananas. Ooh, yeah. That's so, nice. So you just went bananas about the print. You tell know, us, can you tell it, us more about it? Yeah, absolutely. I think that one of the cool things, <laughs> why are you laughing? Like, of course I want to tell you about print. I love print. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, I do. He's uh, passionate. He's wow. got intimate well, with print. He's well, really intimate with it. You know what's it. interesting is that, you know, I put together a spec for that for the engineers, and one of the engineers basically came and said, no, I want to do more than this. Oh. And I was like, I was like, sure. Well, I think that's okay. the, I think well, it's supposed to be a collaborative thing. It's not like I know all the answers to this stuff. And they're like, no, no, we've gotten very specific feedback around this point. I think we could do this in a very inexpensive way and really add a lot of value oh, to the project. It's, it's nice. like, that's a great idea. Let's see what that's looked like. And we worked together on it and it really, really turned out. That was your first time right. seeing it. looked great. That was yeah, my first time seeing it. The great. experience is just phenomenal. So I got a big question, but we can hold it to the end. You just let me know. So, By all this, means. it's a huge question. This is huge. I get this question every day. This is about the Saints-Eagles game. I get this question daily. Really? Yeah, every daily. day? Okay. You know, four times a day I get this question. Oh. <laughs> Seven times a day I get this question. Big so, data. I can't even tell if it's So lying. people <laughs> people come up to me and they go, Patrick, you know, you seem like you're really intimate. You spend a lot of time with reporting services. Like, yep, I do. Um, <laughs> it's my sweet mistress. And so, um, what about the KPIs in mobile reports? What's going to happen to those? <laughs> so, so I don't know why he's laughing. That's a legitimate you. question. Thank you for that question. As you heard the announcement today, the announcement today was around paginated reports. I did, absolutely. The Power BI service. It was not around SSRS. Well, so it'll come soon, though, after. The mobile reports and the KPIs are going to come, too. No, you will not okay. see the mobile reports well, and KPIs. But, but to add to that question, though, right? Oh, so I'm not going to see them there. In future releases of reporting services, a Power BI report server, will I see them? For now, there's no reason. There's no 
plans to take them out. Okay. In fact, we know we know that the KPIs specifically are something that no people use KPIs. Yeah, KPIs people are really, really use the KPIs. I think that the interesting questions are on mobile reports, and I think that there's been a fairly consistent message around. You know, with Power BI report server, this is the area where we're focusing on the mobile capabilities there, and again, it works in the context of the mobile app. So I think you'll see us continue to innovate there as opposed to but, the legacy. And the other difference too is in the Power BI service, we do have the dashboard concept sure. there where we can yes. do yeah. KPI yes. type functionality. Yeah, yeah so absolutely. And it's then, not like that that's completely missing. No, it's from, not. No, no, no. So you mentioned subscriptions earlier. I did. And so I, just, I have to go back to subscriptions because, right, we have the basic subscriptions, but we also have data-driven subscriptions. Yes. So I'm assuming we'll see something like that eventually. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, awesome. I mean, I think that that's something that, again, is a, is a differentiator for the product, I think, absolutely. I think an interesting question is, you know, we think about, hey, what are things that we can do that are unique or different in the context of Power BI? Yeah. What if we were to add actual role-level security support for, these subscriptions where you can do Ooh. just, what, yeah, I mean, this is the type of thing where mm -hmm. we need to think about this as, do we just focus on doing it the exact same way we do it on-prem, or do we look at you know ways we can enhance this and make the experience truly unique in Power BI? I mean, but if I'm connecting to analysis services, because yes. I know that's a source, so on-premises tablets, and I have role-level security built in, it should work, right? Uh, that's something, we, right now we have, have the embedding of the credentials as part of this, but that is something that we okay. love support. All right. All right. All right, so the natural progression of this, I want to copy a Power BI visual, paste it into a Paginator report, or vice versa. This is a natural progression? Natural like progression. This, this feels fairly unnatural in terms of the, uh, in terms of the two If I have cases. a pie chart in one report, a I want to copy it's or pie chart, so you're donut, your donut, donut, pie chart with a hole in it. it. I want to copy and paste that between reports. Between the different types, sure. Wow, okay. wow, that is a that is an interesting use case. I can see, I, in all seriousness, I can see why potentially customers would want to do that. Unfortunately, that's much more challenging. I, I than, would imagine than, than I would what imagine. you're than what you're yes. stating, uh, and probably it's not going to happen. Let's, in, at least in the near future. Let's talk about tool set. So, Report Builder yes. is the tool yeah. that we're really focused on for that. We can do it in SSDT. You can SQL Server Data Tools. Yep. Um, what's what's kind of the what are you thinking around that space? Well, I think it's an interesting question, and this is an area where, honestly, feedback from the community is helpful in terms of making this decision. It's it's not that we don't want to do it in one tool or another. It's a question around, it's paginated reports in Power BI. It's not SSRS right, there. Right. And so you think about something like SSDT, which again, extremely popular with our developer community, extremely popular, you know, the tool of choice essentially for many people in yep. this context. But you think about the work stream or workflow there, where you've got uh, multiple reports and multiple data sets and things like that, and you publish as part of a project. That paradigm does not only doesn't exist in Power BI at least sure. today, you think about all the APIs and the full destruction of the security that lives in SSRS versus Power BI, yeah. we would have to rebuild all of that, so all of those capabilities working in the context of Power BI and have it feel like a yeah. natural experience, that's an enormous sure. effort from an engineering perspective because you're also then coordinating it with Visual Studio. Yeah. And that's not to say I don't think that this isn't potentially a good idea, it's just we have to consider where we're going to invest our resources. Like, do we do that over the things I mentioned earlier? You know, and, and so Report Builder, I think, is at least in terms of the way that the workflow works right now with Power BI, it's a natural place for people to start with because you have it, you're building a single report, you're uploading it to the service, and it's, it's a more natural workflow. Now, that being said, is there an opportunity to build a new tool that is optimized for the Power BI that. service? I think that there is. Uh, and do we, do we immediately go there? I don't know. I think this is where getting feedback from folks is interesting. But if you just think about, yeah, if you just think Down about below Report in the Builders, you, know, you have concepts in there, like there's a button that says Report Parts. We're not doing oh. report parts oh. in the context forgot, of Power yeah. BI. Forgot about those. So you think about even with that, you can't just leave it as is yeah, for no. this experience. So, yeah. there, so there's a lot of engineering work that you know these little things make a big, big difference. Well, and like shared data sets is another example. Yeah, that's uh, a great example. Data, uh, data sources and data sets and just having that, it's a different concept than yeah. what Power BI uses. Yeah. So. And I think shared data sources are really, really valuable part oh, of the product. Oh, I think they're great. But is it something that makes sense in the context of Power BI? That's something the Power BI team, this isn't just me, I have to work out with yeah. the rest yeah. of the Power yeah. BI so. team. Like, how does that fit in there? And then if you do go and support that, you know, I, you know, a lot of people use stored procedures there with parameters. Well, with the gateway, that actually isn't supported right now. So how do you go make that work in that context? So yeah. there's a, a lot, lot of different layers there. A lot of stuff. Work through. It's yeah. like an onion. 
Yes. <laughs> it's actually a great, I actually <laughs> used that analogy earlier yeah. today. Yeah. You weren't at that Love session it. though, so I'm a little confused. I wasn't. So, I wasn't. I don't know, last thing that I, I got is, so in the report builder, it would yes. be great to have a publish. It would. Yes. 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 I, On the well, roadmap? Well, no, I think that's the question though, is that do we go, no, I, I, do, there will do be you a invest tool. in updating report yeah, builder that's the question. Our new versus new that's tool. the question yeah i think it, and so if we say yeah it makes sense to just add these capabilities to the existing report builder of course there's going to be a published workflow that is a line yeah. item specifically okay. in the roadmap yeah. to go do that but yeah. i think it's a question around is that the best thing or should we do something optimal for power bi yeah. like a web-based experience i just you don't like a web-based experience so you don't have a macintosh he's an old he's old school man i like, uh, I like look the, I get this feedback from all different angles. Yeah. I, the reason I say you don't have a Mac is right. I have in my inbox two questions around. Oh, hey, I'd love you can't to do this. Builder on a Mac. Uh, well, again, there are ways you can't to work do Power BI that. desktop on yeah, a Mac. Yeah, there are ways to work around that. But yeah. if you look at Power Query and the web with data flows today, there's you know these things evolve. So. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that's and a good point. The, and, but at the same time, you know, there's a huge community of SSRS folks out there, and, yeah. and getting their feedback and what they're looking for and what's the best way for us to allocate our resources and bring them along in this journey. And one thing I do want to bring up, SSRS is not going anywhere. Yeah, thank I you. I, I've thank had that you. question. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, so I get that question a lot. Yeah, yeah which is which is unfortunate because I think that there's this, you know, it, it, yes, there's a, there's a question around resources. And one of the things I brought up in my session at a, when at the uh, business application summit, and I said, look, Microsoft is not unlike any other company these days that would love you as a customer to move to the cloud. That does not mean that we are not going to do anything as it relates to our box products. So right. just because that's what Microsoft and every other company wants you customers to do today, does that mean that that means, oh, the product is going away? So I, I think yeah, that- There's still investments yeah. you know, that's for, for, yeah. for SQL Server reporting services and Power BI report server and yeah, on-premises yeah. solutions. Yeah. Well, and one of the things, if you think about having RDL in the cloud, and RDL parity is something you will absolutely see to okay. the two. Like you can do custom code today with this stuff, which is something that I know a lot of people do with that. As we do innovations there for RDL, by having it in the cloud, being able to innovate there, it makes it a more natural thing to kind of bring down to the box as opposed to an either or yeah. type of discussion. Yep, yep, yep. We want to pass this off to you. If you are excited about paginated reports in Power BI, we want to hear from you, especially if you are using reporting services on premises. And also, if you feel this is wasabi mustard sauce, <laughs> let us know down below. Hashtag wasabi mustard sauce. Isn't it hot mustard sauce? No, nope, it's wasabi, wasabi mustard sauce. Wasabi, wasabi, wasabi mustard sauce. Yeah. That's what was said. Yeah, it was naturally <laughs> weaved into the presentation. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yes. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick, myself, and Chris, Thank you so much for watching, keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.